This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane and I'm back with another tour review. And today, Infernec Universe Shard from Transformers Legacy United. An amazing figure. It's already out. I play with my stuff. Um, it's fantastic. This is a great... Uh, I'll quote uh, PPR, but it's a great rock bot. And, and, and this Rocketopter mode is awesome. Um, it's, it's, I, th that's all I can say. It's awesome. Get those. They won't come back. Well, maybe if they get really popular. But I'm hoping for a repaint in lava color, like red, black, and orange. That'd be nice. So, but this, uh, you know, this kind of a jade and emerald look, amazing. So before I do the review, I just want to remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very proud of. And also check out my sponsor, DJC Collectibles. And at the end of this video, you can get your 10% discount code for anything Transformers. And now let's roll the intro. I love this. Shard looks so good. She's an amazing robot. Or rock bot. You know. Rock jokes intended. Alright. Nice helicopter. Actually real nice. Very original. Even my wife, she looked at it. She's like, wow, what's this? And I'm like, that's a new character. And then I hope they make more of her. And she's like, yeah, they look really good. And my wife does, you know, she tolerates Transformers. She's, she's not a fan of Transformers. Nice head sculpt, she looks really good. And then gears here in the, uh, you know, armorized version or rockerized version. I'm stealing Patriot Prime spun. So if you want to have good, you know, good humor, good puns on this robot, go check his review. Um, a bow, kind of a bow or a, I don't know. Yeah, I guess it's a bow. And you have the, uh, Alt mode product shot, and I mean, you know, stuff that's on, you know, upcoming. Yep, standard Hasbro box without plastic windows. You have the instructions. Uh, they show you, you know, where to place all of the stuff, um, the different uh, little gimmicks that you can have, you know, where to place the rotors uh, for the helicopter mode, and transformation. Standard stuff, and it works. Accessories, you get four of these little swords, uh, but it's it's not a sword because sh she can't hold it because there's a little peg here on the side, so sh you can't put it in her hand. So that's too bad, but you can do a kind of a gun, you know, so that like an unpainted blast effect. Uh, but if you want with this, you can plug it in here and do a... Uh, Whereas up here, you can do like a, oh, it's probably gonna be the other arm. A little, you know, arm cannon kind of deal. Oh so, yeah, it's it's something, uh, the, those sword. I mean, they work better in uh, the uh, alt mode, of course. But you can have a, uh, you know, they show you that in the instruction where you can have the, this kind of a, I don't know, punch, punch sword, punch dagger, that's what, that's probably what we would call it in Dungeons and Dragons. So, anyway, I don't know if that's even a, a thing in Inhumanoids. I mean, I know they didn't transform, but because um, that's you know everybody's saying Rock Lords, but it's really the uh, Inhumanoids uh, references. So yeah, uh, you have the shin guards, which you can just plug here, and you're pretty much done. You don't even have to remove them for transformation. Um, and I, I, I'm guessing they're just part of the armorizer gimmick. Uh, yeah, but they look good. I mean, all the details, all the molded details of this figure, that, that's impressive. I'm surprised that they didn't try to push this for like a, a Voyager uh, price and say, yeah, but look at all the molded details and the paint. It's really nicely painted. I mean, they can do this, but, you know, other figures are super lacking. So, but Legacy has been good. So, yeah, all right, let's take a look at, uh, well, I mean, yeah, you can, you know, uh, 
there's different ways that you can place these guns um, and these weapons like you can shoot it from here you know and or you can place it on the hip I mean it's up to you it's your figure right looks good so we're gonna play with those a little later right now articulation you do have a full rotation at the head and you have light piping it's uh, yeah you have light piping so it's kind of hard to show uh, with my setup but uh, you can play with that uh, you have a full ferris wheel no problem oh the legs are removable that's a new feature and the arms too that's part of the armorizer thing so if you want to have a goro figure uh, or kentaro i was a bigger kentaro fan uh you have okay so you have the full uh ferris wheel you have a nice elbow, elbow band you do have a you know your arms is going to go up like this and then you have a rotation um you do have a double rotation no you have one at uh, the elbow uh, on a mushroom uh go like this you have a rotation at the hand nice and tight you don't have a back and forth with the wrist you do have your mary oh wow no while well, you would but the tail really jams the because they added those two little details on the side and that's gonna hit and there's no way to go around that so you don't have a full merry-go-round that's too bad and then you would get a a johnny cage well i mean you're missing again because of the details it's not at a 180 uh, but because of the tail you know it doesn't work so no johnny cage in my book you have a rotation here because the leg is removable so you can interchange with cup and die on and all these people uh you have a knee band and then you have a toe tilt and an ankle rocker back and forth inside and outside fantastic figure okay the waist area that's a something i had not noticed so i'm a little disappointed in that but otherwise yeah no complaint and this spins but it stops abruptly because there's a kind of a click uh, like you can feel a little friction uh, but you can uh, put the these things here uh, for storage if you don't want to put it uh, on her wrist and you can do it like that you know it works and even from the front it kind of gives her a cake that's actually a really good look I like that and then I don't know you can put this like a cannon and that would be blast effect compatible uh, or like I said uh, you can do the uh, arm thing well it doesn't work super well on each side so come on why won't you go in Wow bit of a QC on this side uh, peg won't go in maybe I'm just misaligning stuff or I'm using the wrong one okay yeah so they're side dependent there you go so I'm guessing if I take this one and I put it here I'm gonna have no problem ah there you go so because of this uh, piece here that connects here but that's for more for the alt mode they actually show you to do the other way around put it like that and so that you have on the side you have the cannon so there you go fun stuff to do with shard she's a fun butt all right let's put her on the side and do some size comparison with studio series 86 ultra magnus just because i like showing off three zero rodimus prime again showing off and G1 Sunstreaker, because he's the greatest bot of all time. Okay, let's, uh, I'm gonna show. Okay, I'm gonna put her in uh, helicopter mode and uh, get back to you. And there's Shard in helicopter mode. And I have to say that it's not a fun transformation. Uh, it, you know, she's panel dependent, not panel, uh, peg dependent. Like everything pegs, but every other peg gets in the way. 
and if you don't line all the pegs super perfectly it you know this is gonna unpeg this is gonna unpeg the arms won't peg in like it's you know she's peggy so there you go but god damn it looks so good and you know nice spin uh you don't have a rotor at the back but you have that you know asymmetrical um, tail end and it looks really good uh, you can see a bit of the hands here, the legs underneath, and that's about it. Everything else cleans up super good. You can't tell that the arms are, you know, on the inside, um, except, of course, you know, because of the hands. But, wow, I love the jade look on, or the emerald look of the window, and then the jade stone everywhere. Um, I, maybe I would have kept the yellow... Uh, here so that it would connect with the one on the panel uh you do have a hinge, a hinge here it's not you know not a deal breaker love this figure extremely original you know that it's yeah that's we've never seen anything like it before um the whole infernac universe thing it's been amazing so i'm hoping they do you know a couple more i don't know how many characters there was on that show but god man I need more like I'm you know I'm hoping for maybe I don't know a tank uh, that would be nice uh, you know just a, a different car uh, we have a bike we have this we have the uh, um, Magnus so yeah give us um, you know give us some more uh, I'd like to you know like I'd take a space shuttle you know so there you go so that's, and the paint application are so well done. I mean, you know, every, here it, it goes from yellow to green to dark green. And then you have like four types of green here. Um, overall in the figure, actually, uh, yeah, that's the same green. So one, two, three, yeah, about four type of green. And I can see all of them. So I guess I'm not green colorblind. Oh, well, that's cool. Although this is more like a yellowish green, but still. God fantastic and you have a port here i don't know it's that's because of transformation so uh but you i don't know you could peg something there uh, if you wish you could put some blasts uh, yeah looks good looks amazing let's do some comparison what do i have so let's go with another air goddess air razor uh from the war for cybertron kingdom line fantastic figure uh love the uh, the wings on her um, you know, the stop motion animation possibility on this girl were fantastic. Um, yeah. So now she has somebody to play with or fight with. Because that's the thing. We don't know if that's a Decepticon or an Autobot. It's just Infernac Universe. And they don't have a logo. So, you know, independent faction. Legacy Alpha Trion and Kingdom Rodimus Prime. Okay, and now to do the Armorizer gimmick with gears because that's what they used in the uh, actual uh, instructions so there you go you remove this you remove this hmm. and then you actually reopen up the arms and remove at the shoulder It's tight now, you know. All right, take that off, and then they tell you to take, lift the feedback up. So basically, you have to transform her and pull the legs out. So that's what you're going to use. I don't know. There's not much that you can use after that, you know, to have like a skeleton helicopter. Maybe I don't know. And. So what you can do, um, on the side you can put the extra armor, uh, is there a better side to it? Yeah, I don't know why they showed to put this on gears, because the, uh, the part here kind of hinders the pegging. Unless I read that wrong, no that's what they say, so maybe I'm doing it upside down? No, no, it's square there, and there's no way to remove that thing, so it's not going to peg there. All right, I'm going to go get another bot. 
let's go with Kingdom Blaster. I haven't played with this guy in a while. So, what they tell you is to take this and let's say you put it here. So now he has slightly extra padding. So that's cool. And then after that, you can have the... Oh, you can do a... Uh, yeah, another arm mode. So, uh, can you do it with him? Yeah, you could do this. Let's... Oh, uh... I just have to, okay, now I'm going to go with this side so that he's able to go like this. There you go. So now you can have extra arms in the back. Uh, that's what they showed with Gears, but Gears has, the ports are maybe better disposed to, uh, to do that. So you have your forearm modes, forearm mode. Why do I keep adding an S there? I don't know. You have your wrist cannon or forearm cannon all right what did they show for the legs no actually yeah so you can do that but if you want to do the bow you have to put one here one here and then you take the blades And you put one here. One here. Oh. One here. And then on the other side, you have the other pegs. So that's kind of a, your bow. It looks good enough. And then on the other hand, you want to peg this like that. Uh, yeah, like that. And like that. That's what they show. And you can have, I don't know, it's not a shield, but I guess another type of bow. Eh, it's something. You can play around with the, these things. I mean, you know, the extra arm. So that they can hold uh, the blaster like that. That's actually pretty cool. That's yeah, I like that. I like that. Oh, so there you go. Fully armorized blaster. All right, let's put her back together and uh, give you the uh, money shot. And for the money shot, this is what we have so far uh, in the Infernac universe subline of Legacy United. Looks amazing. I love the concept of these guys. It's, yeah, I mean, do more original stuff like that. I, you know, I'm ready for more new character that are not just repaint with a different name. This is completely original and this is fun. I'd like this to be an actual show. You know, do the exact same premise of Beast Wars. You know, two ships and they crash on a planet just made out of rocks and with barely any life forms or actual rock forms, you know, rock life forms. And they just scan that and that's what they become, you know, rock vehicles and have them fight each other for, you know, something, maybe, you know, make that different. But, you know, just a new show. I'm tired of reboots and, you know, other stuff. I'm not even excited for Transformers 1, so whatever. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. Love reading those. Keep coming back. I have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole. Take care.